beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the Word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so on you and you here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed Praise the Lord. I feel very sad for people who don't believe this. Because you see, spiritual realities are like laws. You don't have to believe them for them to exist. They are there. Are we together now? So no matter what perspective, how you argue, whatever it is, it doesn't change the fact that it is there. If I call promise a woman, no matter how I try to convince you, he knows he's a man. It's up to your opinion. You can have your biological uh, conviction as to why you think he's a female. But the truth remains that he's a male figure. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So a lot of the problems in our lives are caused by the presence and the influence of demon spirits. But many other problems, and here's where my teaching starts, many other limitations, many other setbacks in our lives are self-inflicted. Please listen. Please listen. While it is true, I started by letting us know so that we settle it that there is a place for demon spirits. But it is a lie. For us to convince ourselves that everything in our life is caused by demons. No. A major part of the things that happen, the limitations, right? The obstacles, the, 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 the setbacks, the problems in our lives. Many of them are self-inflicted. Meaning that they have happened by our authorization. We authorize those things to happen in our lives. And this is going to be my first challenge for us tonight. Because if I can get us to a point where we close the door to self-inflicted limitations, self-inflicted problems, self-inflicted issues, I guarantee you, for many of us, over 60 to 70% of your prayer requests would have been answered. Are we together now? Many of the issues in our lives today are the effect of our consistently violating the laws of the kingdom and the laws of life. Write it down. Most of what we are receiving in our lives are the punishments, literally the punishment for violating the laws of the kingdom. And we do this all the time. We do this once and again. Many people, many sincere people seated here looking at me, passionately desiring God to step into their lives. Many of us keep crying, yet we keep violating the laws of the kingdom, 
the laws of life and we keep getting punished again and again and again and again and again and again hallelujah imagine trying to bath a pig are we together now and the water with which you want to bath the pig is muddy is that not a counterproductive venture because at the end of it you are just adding more that's how many people are so we come to god trusting god for a miracle but the truth is in our hearts we are unwilling to find out the role we have played over the predicaments in our lives it is generally not a natural human tendency to accept responsibility it is easier to pass blames at demons and people and government and parents are we together it is a lot more comfortable to point fingers at people but every time you come to god if it is god you come to he will first bring you to a place where you identify by the spirit the role you have played in authorizing the tragedies and if you are humble enough to receive i don't care what the situation is you qualify for the mercy of god the mercy of God never appears before people who are arrogant and unwilling to realize the fact that a part of the problems in my life may truly be caused by demon spirits. Let me tell you something. If Satan, listen, if Satan suddenly disappears from the face of human life, many people's lives will still not be improved. Are we together? If there is a sudden prophetic pronunciation from heaven, every demon plus satan all of you relocate to one part of the world and never go out from there you would think in one week people's lives will change you would be surprised to find out that for most people their lives will remain the same is god helping us tonight the effect of our consistently violating the laws of the kingdom and the laws of life let me tell you something about laws by laws i mean principles laws are unemotional laws are unemotional there's no sentiments to them there's no tribalism human beings can have soft spots based on tribalistic ideologies based on uh, geographical ideologies based on relational ideologies but laws the laws of the kingdom and the laws of life right they are unsentimental they are unemotional meaning your cry your tears will not change their effect number two laws are unforgiving amazing laws are unforgiving very unforgiving number three laws are non-negotiable there's no bargain you cannot negotiate the laws of life and you cannot negotiate the laws of the kingdom it's impossible there is no amount of begging that will make a woman carry a child for only one month and say my case is a special case i'm not very strong if you must be pregnant get set for nine months are we together it says according to the time of life this is a law of life are we together there is no amount of jumping up and down and singing praise and worship that will ordinarily make a man become established no there is a law are we together there is a law of growth these are laws of life if you plant beans today and come and get a full grown beans stock it's a sign that you need to run away or seek an explanation from God whether it was a special miracle to teach you something imagine that one of these little babies they just gave birth to them and by the next day they are speaking and say mommy you need to understand the way life works you see it's either the gift of prophecy is walking through that baby supernaturally or that baby is not really a baby are we together now 
I know this is funny, but it is very, very serious. Laws are unemotional. Laws are non-negotiable. Laws are unforgiving. This is the part of laws that make it serious. They are unforgiving. You violate them, you get punished immediately. There are people who never rebuke you when you do something wrong, right? Some of our parents are like that. They still got, they keep gathering it like a book of remembrance. And when your cup is full, they just open it and start from the time it happened till that time. But laws, you violate them immediately. You don't fall from a building and not feel the pain until after two weeks. You just have, no, 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 no. As soon as you hit it there. If you didn't feel the pain, is the extent of the destruction that has happened to your body, but the pain is there. Are we together? The laws of the kingdom. Let me show you three important principles we have been violating in our lives that have brought upon us self-inflicted tragedies. I teach these things because I love every one of us and it's a challenge to be wiser, to be better, to rise more. Number one, the first principle that I believe many in the body of Christ have ignored. That's why we never become successful. That's why we never taste of the greatness that the word of God says is us. Is that we lack determination and persistence. Please write it down. You hear me hammer on this all the time. We lack the determination and the persistence to succeed. Life will never hand you the keys of greatness when you pursue life in a play it safe easy and i don't want to be hot attitude no you've got to be determined you've got to be persistent everybody say determination say it one more time say persistence we lack persistence we lack determination how many people have not gotten jobs today they think it's the devil Ask them how many CVs they have submitted. And they tell you, I submitted three. Can you imagine? The person even looked at me and said, I graduated with a third class. He lambasted me and I said, I will embarrass myself again. It is that kind of attitude that will keep a man poor forever. Are we together now? Yeah. We are so egocentric that we are unwilling to pay the price of determination. How many pastors want crowd? They want a great church, but there's no determination to succeed. Determination is what fuels diligence. Determination is what fuels hard work. You must be determined. Let me tell you what determination is. It is the attitude and the resolve to succeed that is greater than the pain and the challenges you will meet on the way. Whoever possesses that quality must succeed. Greater than the pain. Greater than the embarrassment. Greater than the ridicule. Greater than the mockery. Greater than the misunderstandings. You sustain a paradigm. I was born from this family. We never had opportunity for a nice meal. We ate once a day. We struggled for instance. And you make a determination. That in the name of the Lord. What my parents could not give me. I will give them. I make a determination. Are we together? How many people, young people, you ask them, did you write jam? They say no. You say why? They say there's nobody to buy jam for. But that person has a phone. Are we together? A phone of 40,000. It took determination to get that phone. Are we together? That person you are seeing has not gone to school, but he can operate an Android device. It took passion. It was the passion that made him to go and look at another person's phone, although he did not have it. Are we together? Many, there are many of our young children, they take last in class and they can play computer game with their eyes closed. It took determination to become a master. Are we together? Listen, we need to redirect our focus and get serious about success. Success is not for weak people success is not for lazy people 
success is not for fearful people success is not for those who chicken out in life right the man who will be successful is the one who can get up when you fall while people are laughing just keep cleaning your body when you succeed they will eat back their words i guarantee you determination so many people want to succeed we think god is a magician that's why we love prophets and many of you pressure men of god around oh prophesy to me speak to me have you not heard what timothy um well, the, the encouragement that Paul told his son in the gospel, Timothy. He says, this charge I give unto you, Timothy, that you wore a good warfare with the prophecy. I have given you a prophetic word. Right? War with it. No determination. No determination at all. Are you determined to succeed? The answer is not yes. The answer can be seen. Listen. The proof of passion is pursuit. What are you pursuing? What occupies your time? What keeps you awake in the night when others are snoring away their destiny? When young people are sleeping as if they are 60 years old. Your mother at 65 is sleeping. You to a child of 20, you are lying down by her side. Two of you are sleeping, same time, waking up, same time. I tell you, you will lick the feet of destiny if you don't rise up and take your destiny seriously. We violate this law. I told you to be sensitive because for some of us, this is your prophetic word already. God is telling you it's time to jack up. See, the most, the greatest failure in life is not the one who tries and fails. It's the one who is less than fair about everything. I don't like those kinds of people. They, I will never be friends to less than fair people. People who are lukewarm in everything. A little of God, a little of women, a little of beer. A little of 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 uh, um, what now laziness a little of sleep a little of hard work those kinds of people are dangerous because they they don't there is nowhere they stand being friends with them would destroy you a little of loyalty a little of betrayal it's better to know they are for you or not for you a little of everything if you have those kinds of friends let me tell you the truth break away from them I repeat break away from them don't keep all this loyalty we grew up together we went to the same school so what when it was time for abraham to go and offer isaac he left his loved ones his relatives there are times you need to even leave your family members because sometimes they love you too much to allow you succeed are we together they love you too much every time you want to take giant steps they say i play it safe oh you know the way this our life is no no and please let me challenge us especially for our loved ones and our parents here i believe in responsibility but no parent should over pamper their child no parent my children will be born in a rich family but they are going to wash their clothes i guarantee you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, they will wash their clothes. Whether they use washing machine or their hand, they will do it. They will learn it. They will learn how to cook. All this lawlessness and indiscipline that we call opportunity. No, it's not opportunity. Determination. Many people think they are not succeeding because there's nobody to help them. But it's not true. The person gets up and goes to steal. When you catch him and you say, why did you steal? He said, oh, why wouldn't I steal? My father sleeps around. My mother is dead. And that person seems to justify his situation. Did you try going to ask somebody to give you a cutlass to weed their house and you receive 500 naira for it? See, we, we don't have persistence. I'm telling you this. We lack determination. Is God speaking to us? Determination. So we are lukewarm and we are cold. We want things to happen to us automatically. It doesn't work that way. You've got to work it out. How many preachers want to know the word, but they don't, want, they don't have the determination to learn? You never see them study. You never see them do anything. They don't get up and tell you, my ministry by the grace of God will work. See, 
nothing in your life will work till you commit yourself to making it work how many marriages want to work automatically how many relationships want to work automatically there's no such thing as that there must be a labor on your own part to enter your rest number two the second principle we violate consistently to our detriment is that we do not passionately pursue wisdom and understanding please write it down the second mistake that we keep making as believers to our detriment is that we do not passionately pursue wisdom and understanding the bible says wisdom is the principal thing let me tell you what we pursue we pursue the children of wisdom we pursue what wisdom can produce money fame glory greatness those are children of wisdom are we together now it's like a man who wants a child but does not want a wife it is the presence of a woman and her ability to take in right that will produce a child so you want a child yet you do not want the responsibility of getting married it doesn't work that way everybody say wisdom everybody say understanding I have learned in my life by the word of God and experientially the excellency of wisdom and understanding for many of us what you need is simply a key a certain understanding wisdom and understanding to take you from where you are to the next level the Bible says through wisdom a house is built he said by understanding it is established and through knowledge the rooms are filled with every treasurable thing wisdom I remember years ago I used to fall into a particular trap of foolishness again and again it had to do with relating with people and it was one wisdom key from Mike Modoc I was anointed I loved God but there was so much foolishness in that area and life kept punishing me one wisdom key from Mike Modoc that set me free and this is what he said never try to be God to anybody that wisdom was my deliverance never try to do to people what only God can do to them that one key alone set me free and there are many more of these keys we do not passionately pursue wisdom let me tell you something many of us sit down and we want wisdom to come and meet us no you pursue do you know the bible gives wisdom the attribute of a woman it's only a foolish man who will cross his leg and allow a lady to come and meet him and say marry me say hey, i've been waiting for you are we together now only a foolish person would do that wisdom everyone say wisdom everyone say understanding I can see your passion for wisdom by how many successful people you are willing to sit down at their feet to learn listen listen let me tell you I am amazed at how many great people pass us and listen I want to challenge us right now we travel for ministrations all the time whenever we get to where, where they are checking us the hotels where they are checking us the people in the hotel some of them are cleaners some of them are maybe those who are just waiters or whatever it is they watch men of God business executives sometimes political figures come and wait at the reception for instance to see me for hours yet they are the same people that have access to clean the room are you seeing lack of wisdom and it never occurs to them what is in this man that is making these people who are already great to a measure come and wait is that not an opportunity to use your use the opportunity of scrubbing a toilet and just kneel down and say man of god i don't know you will do something to me 
how many people pass listen how many people do you pass every day who have the keys to your miracle but because you have no passion for wisdom you trivialize their presence let me ask you three questions that will surprise you how many people undergraduates or people who are yet to get admission have ever gone to meet a first class student and buy wine and sit down and tell him sir do you have something you can teach me that will accelerate my success how many of us here we have access to our daddy here prof right there are all kinds of people how many of you have ever said sir could you give me an appointment at your schedule i just want you to teach me about life you have been able to raise your children and you are successful we don't want wisdom that's the truth are we together that's the truth anytime i want to succeed in an area my first assignment is to find out those who are excelling in that area at its best and i will pay any price within the boundaries of righteousness to follow them i have pursued uncommon mentors they stung my ego but i still pursued because i know what i'm looking for many of us are too arrogant to be wise we are too arrogant to have understanding we do not submit to the laws of life and it punishes us i had the privilege of sitting down with a great man one time man of god and i was asking him questions i was throwing questions at him and he looked at me and he said you are very wise i was asking him questions and when he got access to koinonia page and he saw what god was doing he said ah it's not like you are struggling in ministry i said no anybody greater than you knows something you do not know if you will humble yourself and pursue it will make your life easy let me tell you still related to the second point we we don't ask questions that's why our lives are hard we we work with too much assumptions we don't ask questions when you see somebody who is rich truly rich you don't pay the price to ask him what are the secrets what are you doing we are living in the same world when you see somebody who is anointed you never pay the price to say how, how are you doing it a brother is looking for a wife there is another brother with 10 ladies wanting to marry him and that one is angry instead of humbling himself to say i asked five ladies out i even had a dream about two they all said no my brother is there something you are doing and he tells you ah this is one secret about ladies they always want an environment of joy and peace your environment is very choking very serious make that adjustment wisdom Is God speaking to us? We live lives on assumption. Assumption is the least level of knowledge. You can't afford to assume on your destiny. Ask questions. I ask questions about ministry. I ask questions about greatness. I ask questions about different areas of life. When last... Did you ask a successful see don't ask somebody who is struggling just like you love them but they are not the kind of people who pro you see let me tell you why many of us fail when things are not going well you meet your colleague that two of you are struggling together and you say what's your idea about this say thank you for asking me and i think it is a and b and c learn from everybody but pursue successful people learn from everybody even the ant has something to teach you so learn from everybody but don't sit down and mentor failures you will be like them i never pursue average people i never pursue weak people i never pursue people with results i pursue people who know how to reproduce the results show me a man that knows nothing but has the humility to seek wisdom that's why I love my Bible. My Bible for me is God's treasure of wisdom. Mike Mudok, can, can you take it down? 
he sings a beautiful song one of his best songs he says your favor is like sunrise wiping all my nights away i found the cure to my foolishness i can't trust my life outside this world there's too much foolishness that culture has given me there's too much foolishness that growing up as a young man has put in me i need something to edit my life to wisdom and this is what i found that's why for me the word of god is a matter of life and death it is your cure for a foolish life lift your bible and say the word of god is the answer to a foolish life say the word of god is my cure for a foolish life see don't be embarrassed by what i just told you and don't feel insulted in every one of us by default there is foolishness it will not remove itself like that it takes the word of god the more i read the word of god the more i see how foolish i am outside of the word of god i've seen things listen there are times a few people who who have access to my private life see sometimes i'm studying the bible and you can see me i can just stop and tears are just running out of my eyes because i found the answer to the cure for a foolishness in my life if you are embarrassed that there are foolish things you are doing you will never rise i love sitting at your feet that's his song i love hearing what you say i love knowing your desires i'm so pleasure to obey your favor is like sunrise driving all my nights away i love sitting at your feet every single day i love sitting at your feet every single day whose life are you unembarrassed to pursue and learn from if there is nobody before you no successful person you are pursuing passionately to learn wisdom i guarantee you life will punish you again and again I don't want to be poor in my life I hate poverty and so I made up my mind to learn everything I could learn about wealth I still am learning I've studied the wealthiest people on earth literally all the billionaires one by one I've studied their lives I've studied people who demonstrated wealth in the Bible Abraham Isaac I've studied men like Bishop Oyedepo, Kenneth Copeland, David Ibiome, people who represent the portrait of a prosperous life. I pay the price to seek knowledge. I've studied the largest churches in every continent. I know them. I can tell you without thinking. I've studied the lives of the pastors. What brought the crowds to them? I've studied the lives of very anointed people right from the generals to great men like Benny he what was their secret the reason why we fail again and again is we are not studying successful people the Bible says in Isaiah 51 it says look unto Abraham your father and to Sarah that body he said for I called him alone and I blessed him and I increased him look unto him meaning understudy his life please cut short your journey to success by following wisdom pursue it wisdom leaves trails behind if you are interested you will find it don't try to discover a road that has been found ask for the ancient parts don't labor trying to discover it it's been found there's nothing you really want in life 
that somebody has not gotten. So that's the second law we violate. We do not passionately pursue wisdom and understanding. There are times I can lock myself up for two days, three days, and all I'm watching is videos upon videos. Videos of men of God. Sometimes I can play worship songs or play the videos of men of God. And while it is playing, I will just be praying in tongues all through. I have in my phone videos. I partition my phone into different compartments. Worship songs, teachings that bless me. I'm not pursuing. Say in the name of Jesus. I make up my mind to pursue wisdom and to get understanding. Brothers and sisters, look at me. I don't care what is not working in your life right now. I don't care what the ridicule is. You can determine the lifespan of your tragedy by the speed with which you pursue wisdom. You prolong your tragedy when you fail to seek wisdom. You prolong your tragedy. Ah! The moment you find wisdom, begin to rejoice. Even if you are in the fire. Because you are coming out. For sure. For sure. Number three. The third principle we keep violating to our detriment. Is that we do not live by the truths that we have found. How true. Some of us. And for many of us who have been coming for koinonia and have had access to the teachings the truth is many of us there are very few of us that will say we do not know certain laws especially in certain areas but we do not live by the truth we know you see knowledge is not power consistently applied knowledge is what is power the truth you know that you do not live by notice i did not say practice let me tell you another mistake we make many of us try to practice we don't live by you see when you try to practice a thing it's because your conviction about it is still dwindling when your conviction about a thing is certain you don't practice you live by it those who practice principles are conscious of the results those who live by principles know it must produce they have moved past just results. Ah, but I know whom I have believed. And I am persuaded. Job was so confident that when a man hooks up to God, he can come out of everything. And he says, though he slay me, yet will I praise him. He said, all the days of my appointed time, I will wait until my change comes. It was this understanding that made Daniel listen. Daniel was not trying to practice faith. He was living a life of faith. That's why when they threw him in the lion's den. Let me tell you how those who try to practice these principles behave. When they try to practice, they are looking at the other end of it for results. And the moment they don't find results, once, twice, those who are trying to practice prayer, they pray for one week and then they quickly watch the result. And they say, this thing is not working. Then they gas out. They try to look for something else. But there are those who live by prayers those who practice trying to study the word those who try to practice staying in god's presence listen don't try to practice these principles live by them meaning sustain a conviction that is beyond their producing results to you that if they never produce results you cannot undo them again we do not live by the truth we know inaction and disobedience has been one serious reason why many of our lives have been stuck in one place inaction closely related to this we don't take steps we never act we are afraid listen i shared it during the graduation of our school of ministry students you will have to take a step one day and walk on the water a day will come you must take that step you must take that step take it and fail but take it 
the one who takes a step and fails is more honorable than the one who never takes any step the one who wrote jump five times and failed is more honorable than the one who just sits down and didn't write jump are we together the one who tried to look for 10 jobs with zero results is better than the one who just kept his certificate lying down and complaining and saying in the days of our parents government used to give people jobs step out of that comfort zone step out of that place of comfort I know somebody who got a job he got a job as a student I think he was in 300 level when he got a job he had mastered it was something that had to do with IT and he knew it so well he went and took a step and wrote a proposal and you know when he wrote it they asked him they thought he had graduated and served and when he wrote everything they said okay so um, what did you study he said no I'm, I'm still a student in training and the man said walk out of my office he said sir please give me about five or ten minutes according to what he said if I do not convince you that I know what I'm doing I will step out and the mistake that man made was to give that guy ten minutes and he wowed him there and then they gave him a job he was paying immediately he finished he went to serve there he's still working there but there are other people who that man is their uncle there are people who are neighbors to that workplace how many people for instance who live very close to cjc here and have been oppressed by demons for many years and have never come to just sit down it's just a two minutes walk am i right just a two minutes walk when they see people gather they'll sit down outside and be talking when i step out they say that's him and then all the stories that follow him. Are we together? Disobedience. You must live by conviction. So I've identified three things. Let's review it quickly. Number one is lack of determination. See, if you want to be anointed, you will be anointed. The reason why the anointing has not come in your life is because you have not pursued it diligently. You are pursuing the anointing as if um, have you seen a hungry man looking for food yeah it doesn't say please microwave it uh, sharply i mean somebody that let's say three days fast I, I i don't like food that is cold or it looks like why this rice is looking sticky it's like it has spoiled he will first eat it is when he's done you say ah, but this rice why is it tasting like this because he divorced it that's how you must pursue life everything i do i seek it with see that's why i'm hardly committed in many things because i have a contagious level of commitment i'm not committed in many things in my life but when i commit to things i stay there i stay there i'm committed to the assignment that god has given me even if i come for koinonia and i find only two people i will feel bad I will go for a retreat and ask what happened but it will never make me just get up and say talk lord that's it um let me just dust my form and go and look for pilgrims uh what do you call it a trip to jerusalem to just go there and be like many nigerians that never come back just dodge and run away or let me go and look for green card and relocate to america no kai you must have the spirit of a fighter many of us don't know how to fight we are too weak to succeed you must have the audacity of winners is god speaking to us tonight please you are not the first to fail you are not the first to try you want to build a house you have only five naira you will sit down there and die not building that house if you really want to you will build it Say after me, I have the spirit of a winner. Say it. Say I have a determination of a winner. Say in the name of Jesus, I will weary failure until I succeed. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I will weary failure until I succeed. I remember one of our great ones, Mazi Prosper. 
his, his wedding in I think a week or two from now and he returned from the States and came to my place and he was thanking me we were talking I met Mazi Prosper in 2004 when he started his comedy the truth is he wasn't very funny when he started all those things sometimes you just laugh it's more of his face that makes you laugh than the joke are we together now and so I said Kai this guy but I encouraged him there were times when he would send me a text and say ah, what happened somebody promised him that they would give him a show and then they would later push him back for another person and he should continue I told him keep on keep improving yourself see let me tell you brothers and sisters it's okay for people to laugh at you it's not unusual let them laugh because they'll be the ones to defend you tomorrow they can't say you jump the process because they'll say I laughed at him even me I thought he would fail let them laugh at you are we together they saw when you started the business they saw when you started the saloon they saw when they came and locked the shop because you could not pay rent they even helped you to pack your things out of the shop with the embarrassment continue in the midst of that tears go back and study find out who is the best hairstylist what are their secrets labor and pay the price to get knowledge when you have the leading saloon in any place people will say i said i said it even those who criticize you i knew you would be successful oh brothers and sisters it's great to conquer challenges the other side of pain is sweet i tell you this from experience the other side of pain is delightsome a woman carries pregnancy spitting all around looking as if she would die but when the child comes people come to visit her and they bring gifts and she looks at a new baby and she's blessed learn this the other side of pain is glory unlimited if you think it's costly to be successful let's consider the alternative are you ready to consider the alternative failure all the way pain all the way broken down and spread through your lifetime it's better for me to take 10 years of my life and pay the price and live the remaining part of my life making a mark for the kingdom than living in denial and living in fear and living in lies for 70 years of my life and in my old age i find out that the prophecy of those who hate me have become self-fulfilling be determined go for knowledge unembarrassingly go for knowledge see seeking wisdom will sting your ego settle it before the time someone came today and met me with a proposal the first time he sent me a text for the proposal I didn't even reply him I just left him not intentionally really probably I didn't pay attention to what he was saying and then he sent it again and then he sent it again we returned back from a trip yesterday he sent another text for me and then I was talking to a few people this morning and then he called me and I said this guy is serious I told him come when he came I wasn't concerned about the proposal I collected it look at what he had to it was something about his company he needed advice and I dropped it and I said you are a smart person let me add value to you and I told him sit down I began to share with him a few things I've learned and he was amazed I gave him a few videos I said this will help you I would never do this to anybody by default even my blood brother if you don't seek it you will never get it please stop trying to help people who do not want your help they will trample on your help I've learned this learn it never try to help people who are not prepared for it they will not appreciate it if you are not thirsty and I bring water you can carry it and stone it back at me are we together Thank you, Jesus. So pursue knowledge. And number three, live by the truths. Live by the truths, please. How many people don't tithe? I tell you, I can almost tell you that more than half of the people here are not consistent with tithing. Don't blame God for closed heavens. I can tell you this. I can look at your life and unashamedly tell you the areas where you are not living by the word of God. It's not a lie. I'm being sincere with us. Is that alright? 
so that we don't come and lie and fall under the anointing and sweep the ground and get up and go back we are not living by the word god is my witness ask those who are close to me everything god blesses me with before i think of anything the tithe, god's portion is out i don't practice it i live by it it's a law there's no man who jumps up and continues going up you must come down it's a law are we together now why will you keep punishing yourself by fighting the laws that are older than your existence why fight the laws of god why not come into alignment i have learned the excellency i found myself many times violating the laws of the kingdom and my goodness the experiences have been nasty align yourself with the laws of the kingdom and you will find freedom true freedom they know not the bible says neither will they understand it says they grow up in darkness and the whole earth is out of course wisdom it is wisdom that brought many of us here are we together listen when saul lost his father's when his father's donkey was missing saul and one other person and the servant they were on their way to look for it they tried looking for it by themselves and they had to acknowledge and say look every knowledge we know as far as recovery is concerned we have exhausted it he said see let us take another alternative that's what brought many of us here there are many people who will not humble themselves to say see i have tried this situation i don't know whether it's demonic or is my own but at least let me go to an atmosphere where i can find explanation if you do this you are wise are we together if you do this you are wise and they said there is a man of god let's go and meet him even if we are wrong let us find somebody who can tell us we are wrong notice everybody who met a man of god to solve their problem the man did more than what they, are, they came for he trivialized their problem look at naman his breakthrough was only seven baths away yet he lived his lifetime suffering i have learned by experience that breakthrough is not difficult it is access to the platform for the breakthrough that is hard but the day you find a place of breakthrough brothers and sisters in 24 hours your captivity of decades can come to an end. The price is not to get breakthrough. The price is to go to the atmosphere where breakthrough is a possibility. That's your price. Is God speaking to us? They went to Samuel. The major issue was the issue of restoration. But when they went to Samuel, listen all that samuel told them was is it not the donkey is being found please there are more important issues can you imagine to them that was the big deal let's look for our father's donkey but samuel said leave the issue of donkey i speak or yeah he's being found look at naman when naman went to go and meet elisha what did he say go and bath it even come out just go and take your bath seven times ah, he went to take his bath and that was the end of it Brothers and sisters, tonight, many of you are face to face with realities that can wipe your tears of decades. But it is for you to recognize. Your own part has been done by coming to the atmosphere. Now step back and allow God to step in. You see that? Your own part. There are few prophets that I've met in my life, true prophets. One day I met a man of God, a true prophet of God. And I was explaining a few things to him, areas of confusion here in my life. Do you know that before I would talk to this man, he looked at me and smiled. He said, did God not show you what you are going through now? And I just looked at the man. He said, you are pretending as if God did not show you. But did he not show you the other side too? See that? Yeah. Go and take the yellow book among your books. Read it now. Page 70. 
that's where God gave you the prophetic word. That's, he said, please, this issue is not the issue we are discussing. Let's discuss the next level of ministry. How is Koinonia doing? This is a prophet speaking to me. Ah. How about the dream you had of the next level? This is what we are discussing. I went for something else. I'm hearing something else. That's the character of a true man of God. Some of you now have carried the problem, my rent, oh God. And God is saying, not rent. I'm going to give you an anointing to start up a business. You came, for, how much is rent? 250. I know it's a mountain to you. <clears throat> but don't joke with God. Once you are in that atmosphere, expect him to do more. Expect him to do more. Hallelujah. There is one requirement from you tonight. That requirement is to accept that you need help. That's the last thing I would require from you. If you can accept before God and say, Lord, I've tried everything I know to do. I know that this thing is not as hard as it is, but I submit myself to your wisdom. You have changed the lives of people within 24 hours. You have brought restoration and healing and hope for people. Brothers and sisters, that sickness can leave. That it has stayed 20 years does not mean that's how to stay. You can choose to hear this word from God and argue it and just say, well, nice preaching. Your problem only affects you. I hope you know. But you can tremble at his word and say, this is the key. One prayer that God will never reject is the cry of mercy from a man who needs his help when a man comes to the end of his life i have come to the end of myself i have come to the end of myself i have come to the end of myself when you come to that point and you say lord you spoke to me that i'm going to be a kingdom financier I'm short of ideas. I've come to the end of my life. Lord, I need direction. I don't know whether it's job now or marriage. I don't know whether it's Zaria now or, or, or I'm going to London or I'm going to Calabar or I'm staying in, 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 in Kogi State. I need direction. You will never, never receive direction and help from God by default. Jesus Christ saw blind Bartimaeus. He passed him as if he didn't see him. Blind Bartimaeus said, Thou son of David. I'm sure people said, keep, keep, keep quiet. The guy cried the more. He said, wicked people, you have eyes. I'm, I'm, I'm blind. Tonight, you may be going through all kinds of things. Brothers and sisters, the power of God is available. You have taken the first right step to come to the atmosphere. The second step, is surrender you must receive his help because you can reject it you can reject the help of god before we begin to pray papa adeboye shared a story and talked about a man who was on a wheelchair and that man was on a wheelchair and people kept giving the man money he became rich because every time people would give him money. And then one time during a program, Papa Deboe looked at him and he was moved with compassion by the Holy Spirit. And he was going to pray for him. And he, he was led to ask him, do you want to be well? The man said, no. He looked at him, ha, ah, be well? Why should I stand up when my life has changed on this chain? And truly the man told him, all I want is money. I don't want to be I think eventually the guy got healed and he was angry. That's according to Papa Deboe. He said the guy was angry because he said, now I'll have to work for myself. No excuse again. Take over. Take over. I have come to the end of myself. Take over. Take over. I have touched the end of myself. Hallelujah, hallelujah, I have come to the end of myself. Hallelujah, hallelujah, I have come to the end of myself. 
Take over, take over. I have come to the end of myself. Take over, take over. I have touched the end of myself. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I have come to the end of myself. Hallelujah. your voice and begin to pray say lord i need help mention the areas you need his help if you don't need any help pray for koinonia pray for the ministry lord i need help pray i need help in my marriage pray i need help in my finances I need help in my academics. I need help on my job. Are you praying? Thou son of David, I cry for your mercy. Hallelujah hallelujah second prayer point lord i know it is within your power to help me i ask for your help let your power address my case tonight lift your voice and pray lord i know oh it is within your power to give me a husband it is within your power to give me a wife it is within your power to cause my business to flourish it is within your power to bring restoration it is within your power to give me a child it is within your power to cure HIV it is within your power to deliver me Oh, pray. It will put a new song in your mouth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One last prayer point. We are going to cry for grace. I just showed you your contribution to your failure. You must take responsibility and say, Lord, I take responsibility and I receive grace to make the adjustments. There's nothing embarrassing about it. From all that I've said, you know the area that affects you. Say, Lord, I take responsibility. The part you cannot do for yourself, you will do. But the part that is your responsibility, you must take responsibility. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, we take responsibility in the name of Jesus. We receive fresh determination, fresh persistence, fresh determination, fresh persistence. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we receive the grace to pursue wisdom, to seek wisdom like a jewel. We receive grace to pursue understanding. We receive
receive grace to live by the truths that we know we receive grace to be convicted Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shortly we are going to begin ministering. We'll be very fast today. I want to see how we can close on time. So we're going straight to the point. Hallelujah. We'll try to do everything very, very fast and see how we can beat time as much as possible. Hallelujah. You're going to prophesy what you want to happen to you by yourself. Are you ready now? Please. I want you to speak it. These are instructions from God. I know you have been praying in your secret place. It's not the same thing you are doing now. Open your mouth and prophesy everything God will do for you. Lift your voice and pray. I walk out of here healed tonight. Come on now. SS, you must leave me tonight. AS, you must leave me tonight. Shekatatata. Confusion must end in my life tonight. That idea that I need for my business, that idea that I need for promotion, that restoration, I refuse to walk out of this place without that restoration, that mantle. That renewed spiritual life that clarity that prophetic word oh yes 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 pray pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pray that every spirit from darkness that has held your life, pray that you must be delivered this night. Every spirit tying your family, every spirit tying your progress, pray. Enough is enough. He must live my life. Lord, I must be delivered today. Hallelujah. 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 In recent time, I have seen tremendous increase of the anointing of the spirit upon my life especially in the area of healing and deliverance i have seen this all my life but i have seen a multiplication of this grace brothers and sisters whatever your challenge is believe me there is an enough anointing to wipe your tears if only you will believe don't be part of those who have come to waste their time. There are people standing outside just staring at others. Forget about them and be focused. You know what you are going through. Miracle service is not, it's not a marriage ceremony. It's not an album dedication. You don't come and just watch and smile. You come with anger in your heart and say, Lord, I, I won't go back that way. Who told you SS cannot be healed? Who told you AS cannot change? Who told you the, the biological problem cannot go? Who told you you cannot get breakthrough? Lord Jesus, we thank you. We release this atmosphere to you and your power. Lord, I know that you will do amazing things even in this place. We trust you for a quick walk. There are lives, there are destinies that need to be changed. Lord, there are people under all kinds of the influence of strange spirits that have tied their lives. Let not one of them escape the power of the Holy Spirit. 
there are sick bodies that need to be healed oh god let not one of them escape the healing power of god there are families that have come with burdens lord i pray your people have come with prayer requests impossible situations but they believe in you so lord we give you praise hallelujah hallelujah now while the ministration continues please if you have not written your prayer requests make sure that you write them it's important it's not a religious formality it's a revelation that god gave us hallelujah during the dinner those of us who are workers will have the opportunity probably to experience the testimonies that have come as a result of answered prayers. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So in one minute, just write your prayer request very quickly so that when we start, please, if you are yet to write, let's just give them an opportunity. Please help one another with um, papers. You can feel free to put on your phone, contact your loved ones and tell them to send in their prayer requests if it's possible. There are many who have sent their own hundreds online. hallelujah praise the lord please make sure you write everything write everything you are trusting god to do in your life
Hallelujah. 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 It's a very simple song. Lift your voice and sing it to your maker. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I look at this lady and I see a spirit, a very serious spirit. Hold my hands. The Lord will deliver you huh? from that spirit. Because this is something that wants to destroy your life. Is your sister here? Where's her sister? Is her sister here? Is she here? I need to pray for both of you because I'm seeing an attack coming to your family. There is a spirit that I saw, and this is something that has to do with somebody dying. Hallelujah. Who is here? Where is she? Please, let's save time um, very quickly so that we can. We have to pray. I'm seeing death in your family. This is somebody's obituary God wants to avert. You can help her hold her baby if she won't cry. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. But you specifically, there is a spirit that torments you. I need to pray for you. Leading you into things that you do not want. Hearing a name Femi, not, not Pastor Femi, Femi. I'm hearing a name Femi. Femi, who is Femi? Please, if, if I call your case, please just save our time and come quickly. Femi. Your name is Femi? Who is a visitor? You are the one from where? Come. From where? Jigawa. Eh? Jigawa. From Jigawa State. Yes. You came from Jigawa State. Yes, sir. The Lord is going to set you on fire. Yes, take sir. you back there. You didn't just come yes, sir. just for a meeting. I know you just yes, thought sir. you came to receive. I'll call you several times. Sir. Eh? I'll call your number several times. You not be you. <laughs> you will receive that which you desire. Praise the Lord. Amen. My brother, I'm going to pray for you. Victoria. Victoria. I hear a name, Victoria. Please, who is Victoria? Let me just respond. To Victoria. Victoria. There is a Victoria trusting God for a change of genotype. Genotype. You're trusting God for a change of genotype. I don't know if it has to do with um, S S A S. Anyone like that? This is a Victoria. I see. I want to minister to a Victoria that is trusting God for a change of genotype.
we have to frustrate come we have to frustrate the power stopping your marriage look at me we have to frustrate the power that is stopping your marriage huh because it's God's desire for you to settle down soonest you understand this is this is the devil is not going to lord it over you we are going to pray please I want you to believe I don't have to call your case I'm just flowing because the Holy Spirit is impressing it strongly upon me and then we'll just get into prayer praise the Lord hallelujah father visit this family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ where is your mother who is sick who is sick in your family my mom because I'm seeing that ah we have to pray I have we have to pray hmm? this is December your mother will just sleep and they will tell you I'm not a prophet of doom they will tell you that she's dead she has been talking about death we have to rebuke this thing she has been seeing dead people in her dream she sleeps and she sees dead people and they will be stretching their hands towards her and asking her to hold them some of them are people who have died before see there are families here with those things but we are going to deal with it praise the Lord father in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for this family that spirit of death over the family in the name of Jesus we roll it away we roll it away by the power of the Holy Spirit and for you I curse this spirit that is in you in the name of Jesus when the time for deliverance comes the Lord is going to set you free completely in the name of Jesus Christ I want to pray for you your hands are blessed listen your hands are blessed God expects you to use your hands to bring wealth to yourself your hands are blessed the Lord is saying I should tell you that these hands are blessed hands are you getting what I'm saying you have to pray and trust God for ideas the things that you can do with your hands and it will bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ new level come there is still a time for impartation so you receive it but two things God is giving you number one God is giving you wisdom number two God is giving you stability huh I see you but I see like a wind you are here and there God needs to give you stability father you will give him stability in the name of Jesus come my dear I pray for you you will marry a foolish man say amen I curse every spirit delaying her marriage now in the name of Jesus Christ I rebuke that spirit come um, I have to pray for you hold my hands Lord she must be free today today is her day of liberty in the name of Jesus Christ I rebuke this spirit you must leave her I see you in the spirit out of her right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ my dear do you love Jesus very well huh? Please, he wants you to take him very seriously. Okay? Where are you from, my dear? Benway State. Benway State. Is, who is here with you? My brother. Your brother. Where is he? No. Brother, please, can you come? I want to speak to him just before we start the ministry. Please. What's his name? Joseph. Huh? Joseph Okotu. Joseph, where are you? I hear the Lord saying he's bringing restoration to your family. That's why I want to pray for you. We are going to pray. The Lord is saying I should tell you he will give you beauty for ashes. Huh? You may not understand the meaning of what I'm saying. But as the days unfold you will see God honor you. Father let there be restoration for this family. You are going to be a great man of God. Great man of God. God is going to put a teaching anointing upon you. Supernatural grace for teaching. Supernatural grace for teaching. Father, step into this family and do miracles in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice in one minute. Let's begin to pray in tongues. Shiva Please rise up on your feet, everybody. Shabra Thank you, Father. Because the oppressed will be delivered by the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. 
hallelujah please lift your hands i want to begin to minister deliverance is very important very very important is the platform that separates you from the spirits and the influences you see sometimes some of you do not even know that your lives are under um, certain levels of 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 bondage but then you will need the grace of god you will need the wisdom of god you will need his grace to give you direction and i'm going to pray for you right now my goodness the power of god is strong in this place so many people inside and outside it will surprise some of you because you do not even know now listen this deliverance is not just for individuals in fact god is going to start with families that's what i see god doing hallelujah praise the lord you've heard this happen again and again i don't know why god does this but a lady is going to shout under the anointing and this is what will introduce that grace a loud shout by the spirit of the living god lift your hands father thank you for your power and your presence in this place right now in the name of jesus at the count of three i want everyone to shout jesus from the depth of your heart i challenge every spirit i challenge every voice and every altar oh god that has kept your people bound that has kept families bound there's no place for escape for you tonight lord i pray that in a mighty way as your people begin to shout you visit them my goodness the power of god is already coming on people at the count of three one two get ready now get ready three fire upon you right now deliverance fire in the name of jesus receive it receive it help them please help those people right now in the name of jesus inside and outside i release the power of the holy spirit the power of the holy spirit right now right now right now right now right now I see the power of God along this region right here where the ministers are staying I see the power of God right now I curse that spirit I challenge every power every fraternity from hell that keeps people bound in the name of Jesus hallelujah lift your hands those outside alone those inside you can relax those outside at the count of three I want you to shout Jesus there are people who are tied to covenants i hear covenants in the spirit people tied to covenants as you shout that name it's like a wind that will blow outside and the power of god will begin to set people free are you ready now at the count of three one two three in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ we release deliverance outside we release mighty deliverance now lift your hands you don't have to shout just keep it lifted hallelujah i'm going to begin to speak and prophesy and for all those who are affected the power of god will begin to touch them bring them out here in the name of jesus lift your hands now i pray every family here under any spell every family lord where Hey, right now let the power of god touch them touch them now 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 right now in the congregation every family under any kind of spell i bring deliverance right now i bring deliverance right now in the mighty name of jesus i bring deliverance help that lady i bring deliverance right now right now keep your hands lifted right now father identify families that have suffered every cause right now in the name of jesus all over the congregation inside and outside hallelujah keep your hands lifted no instruments just keep your hands lifted i'm going to pray i see fire 
rolling in the realm of the spirit now that fire listen that fire is going to come upon individuals i'm hearing stagnation that's what i'm hearing please keep your hands lifted inside and outside lord wherever those people are get set right now as i speak the fire will burst and begin to touch people stagnation wherever they are shake it, 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 it. begin to touch them right now by that fire receive it right now right now right now right now right now all over the building in the name of jesus christ that spirit of stagnation that has been responsible i see some people being touched outside i see people being touched outside hallelujah this row lift your hands just this row lift your hands the lord is asking me to stretch my hands towards you the moment i stretch my hands the power of god will move in dramatic ways and i'm hearing in my spirit breakthrough that's what is coming please make sure you believe at the count of three i want you to shout jesus it will be a mighty move of the spirit lord i do as you have instructed and at the count of three let there be breakthroughs one two three help them please we command it in the name of jesus bring them out lift your voice and begin to pray every force that has tied down my life you must leave me right now pray as some of you are praying the power of god will be touching you every spirit that is responsible make sure you are praying hallelujah please lift your hands only the ladies i want to pray for you only the ladies a woman represents a gate in the spirit and there are many ladies whose gates are tied and closed but the bible says to open up the two leaf gates it will surprise you what will happen to many of you right now please keep your hands lifted father i pray in a mighty way let every lady's destiny that has been closed at the count of three as they shout jesus let those gates be open get set now ladies one two three open now open now open now my goodness i see padlocks opening that's what i'm seeing in the spirit open up those gates in the name of jesus open up those gates open up those gates now open up those gates now open up those gates now in the name of jesus hallelujah listen lift your voice and violently pray in one minute and command that spirit to leave you go ahead and pray please By the power of the holy spirit you must leave my family just keep praying it's a new season by the anointing of the holy ghost every unclean spirit attaching itself to our lives hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord 
who came with this woman i'm seeing a spirit tying this woman watch this who came with mama out of her hold my hands mama listen she can't walk hold on mommy this woman cannot walk well you see this who don't worry stroke look at this how many of you believe god can do a miracle for this woman i command the spirit right now that spirit leave this woman right now in the name of jesus she doesn't hear very well too in the name of jesus i command the ears to be open mommy look at me lift your leg just carry it lift your leg carry it come come walk come 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 look at this walk by yourself come come look at this look at this look at this give jesus praise give jesus praise hallelujah listen she doesn't hear very well mama Come on, give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Come, Mama. Look at this. You know that this is a spirit that has tied this woman. In the name of Jesus Christ, we end captivity. Stretch your hands and pray that the Lord will perfect everything that concerns her. This is somebody's mother. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. hallelujah mama this mama come your time of breakthrough has come hold on look at what's wrong with you my leg cannot open your leg cannot this open leg, uh, this leg uh, how long 20 something years 20 how many years uh, who knows her years. you know you are their son come now you come and stand close to your mother how many years more than 20 years where are you from we are from sabongari mama you believe jesus will touch yes, you yes sir i tell you there is nothing jesus cannot do yes, there is sir. the anointing you believe it yes sir say jesus jesus heal me heal me say jesus jesus heal me heal me father you died for this reason right now in the name of jesus christ let there be healing right now look at what is happening to her in the name of jesus mama hold my hands walk come 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 try to climb now lift your leg try to lift it it didn't used to open before oh i see okay okay go ahead in the name of jesus christ lift it and do what you could not do just do it do it open the other one in the name of jesus god is already giving you a miracle by the power of the holy spirit can you see a miracle happening she could not open the leg completely could not open it in the name of jesus christ look at look at this god is giving this woman a eh? before she said she, she could not stand for five minutes I cannot stand for five minutes. but right now god is touching you your back will be paining you in the name of Jesus Christ, this perfection has started. That back ache, I lay my hands and I release the anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ, just keep under the anointing. She will stand up and check herself. Hallelujah. I'm seeing another mother. I don't know why God is visiting our mothers right now. I'm seeing, Mama, please come. Can I talk to you, Ma? Somebody help that woman. Please, don't, if we talk to you, speak whatever language you can speak. There will always be somebody to interpret it. It doesn't have to be that you must speak English. Whose, whose mother is this? Eh? Well done, mommy. What's, what's the issue? What brought her here? She has been complaining of different illness. Mama, what's wrong with you? I got a BP. I got a BP. This 20 day, my blood, they move like this. 
as I'm looking at our mother mama as I look at you I'm seeing something like a snake all around your stomach that thing starts moving is that and then it comes towards your chest area yes, then that. sometimes you feel pain at your back here yes, sir. that yes. devil will leave you right now Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ you believe in Jesus I'm going to pray that God will use this lady because I looked at her and I just saw a dove rise from her you what's your name faith faith yes sir you will be a woman of faith you believe that let me pray for you father anoint this lady let your power come upon her in the name of Jesus Christ I pray that God will use you mightily mama let's pray for you lay your hands on your chest please in the name of Jesus Christ God is healing you right now high blood pressure high blood pressure and every other sickness I rebuke it right now and I command the spirit that oppresses you to live in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now listen if you know you are involved in anything whether maybe you have a shop you are in business and nothing is working just lift your hands I want to pray for those people right now that's what the Holy Spirit is telling me please believe Why is she out? Come, you're a mother. We can't keep you standing there. Let me just attend to her. Please, you don't have to come out. We'll attend to you. Whose mother is this? My son is outside. Your son? Okay, what's, Paul, what can Paul, we do for you? Paul. I'm weak from here downwards. You are weak from? Um, my waist downwards. downwards. But you can walk. It's just that the pain is there. The pain, I used to feel pain. I can't see it for long. Yes, I lie down. I can't stand for long. Okay, Mama, just clear the way. Let Mama, you are her son. You are welcome. Let her just sit down there. We will soon pray for the sick. When it's time, you just bring her there so that you can hurry up. Praise the Lord. Uh, please, you don't have to come out. We are going to, listen, listen. We are going to pray. We will invite people to come out now. We are, I'm going to pray for the sick. I will lay hands on all of you. Praise the Lord. So that we can just hurry up. If we do it one by one like this, we may not have all the time. Um, but why, why is she coming away? Uh, my problem is one year. I'm eating in the dream. You are yes. eating the dream? Yes. Food, you mean? One year now. For one year, non stop? Last month, on today's 15 days, my stomach, my back, in the pain. I cannot be sleep. I cannot be eat. Uh, last week, uh, Friday, I enter hospital. They give me medicine. I don't take all the medicine. Never stop. Well, we we'll pray. Jesus Christ will set you free. In the name of Jesus. Mama, you two, just go and sit down there. Please, no, our mothers, don't worry. When we start praying for the sick, this is what we'll do. We may give room so that we we'll start with some of our elderly ones so that they can go back. They may not have that strength. Will that be fine? So as you line up, if you see any elderly man or woman, you can just push them forward so that we minister to them and then they can go and sit down. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But lift your hands now. I want to release breakthrough. I mean, I, I mentioned the case right now. I will praise him. I will sing to him a new song. I will praise him I will sing to him a new song I will praise him I will sing to him a new song and I will praise him I will sing to him a new song I will sing to him a new song And I will praise him I will sing to him a new song Every force Kabbalah Tabarada Keep your hands lifted That has tied down your business All the works of your hands Some of you will feel fire on your hand 
literal fire it will start burning on your hands right now in the name that is above all names i pray as that fire comes on your hand ideas begin to come to you receive it now in the name of jesus receive it now in the name of jesus receive it now in the name of jesus it's already happening to people right now it's happening to people the fire is coming on people help this brother please the fire is coming on people right now your hands ideas ideas this fire represents ideas receive it right now receive it right now in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah praise the lord now as we pray for the sick i know there are many people here who are sick please be orderly as you come while that is happening every prayer request please pass it over to the ushers you have your prayer request you can use the time to call some of your loved ones by the way when we begin to prophesy for some of you who have your loved ones at home you can put on the phone and connect with them honestly if they have the faith to receive and they believe they'll be surprised at what happens to them you are trusting god for a healing miracle make your way to the front now and begin to pray there is a god that heals here yeah. yes mama please don't cry can you get a handkerchief please help our mother with this handkerchief please make your way to the front it's called a miracle service look how many people are trusting God for healing forward all the elderly ones to the front please all our elderly ones Looked around and I realized that you've been so good to me. standing here can we begin to talk to the Lord and say father please who am I that you are mindful of me who am I that you hear my cry when I call you how can I love you more know you more source of my strength now you the strength of my life my hope and my joy my confidence now you you're the source of my life the strength of my life my hope and my joy my confidence show you look at this oh my god put the camera here look at this can you see this person bring the person here look at this this is death already look at this i think you can can they see it on camera look at this you know that this is this is this is already this is an obituary who is her mother this is her mother crying who is her mother why did the mother stay outside now and bring the... oh she went to bring Matt they brought the girl on his... what's wrong with her she has been sick for over six months now but they have been not they have not able be no diagnosis you will look at her and think it's HIV brothers and sisters hear me when a spirit enters a man it leaves out his character through that person oh 
Okay, let's let's hear from the mother, please. What language can she speak? Kurama. Who is Kurama here? Huh? You are, please. Don't can she speak Hausa? Mama Ki Hausa? Rabuda Suki Hausa? We, we will never put pressure on anybody. If she can't speak Hausa, she'll speak her language. Um, what is wrong with her? What's the issue with the baby? Uh-huh. Cancer. Cancer. Uh-huh. Eight. Eight. Uh-huh. Cancer. The eight. Uh, Basr. Basr. What's that? Uh-huh. Pile. Cancer. HIV. Uh-huh. Look at this. Uh-huh. Tell her she brought. She brought her expecting. No, no, no. Don't worry. Tell her she came expecting Jesus to touch her. Jesus, oh Kina. Can I also? So say, can I learn it? Kasina. Can I learn Kasina? She never can hear also. But is that not your language? Mama, can you tell me we are going to pray for her now? Oh, we are going to pray for her. Just clear the way. Can she hear? Can I? How old is she? You would think this girl is, is 10 years, she's 30 years. 30 solid years. Supposed to be married, right? With her children. She's married with two children. Oh my god. Huh? Mama? Okay. This is cancer, HIV, at a terminal state. The source of my strength, now you. Strength of my life, now you. My hope and my joy, now you. Hey, my confidence, now you. Source of my life, now you. Strength of my life, now you. My hope and my joy. My dear, can you speak English? Can you speak English? No, don't worry. Can you hear me? You can hear me. You believe Jesus can touch you? Do you believe that? Don't cry. Don't cry. Jesus is able to touch you. Father, show this lady mercy. In the name of Jesus, I curse that devil by the blood of Jesus Christ I command that spirit of infirmity that devil of HIV that devil of cancer I command you to leave her in the name of Jesus Christ I will ask you people to help her get up eventually my dear look at me look at me in the name of Jesus Christ I release strength to you strength to you strength to you try to move your hands or your leg go ahead try to move your hand or your leg if you can do you have enough strength for that can she hear me she's so weak she can't even hear me it's well just leave her to lie down on the glory yes i pray for other people i mean she's so weak she cannot even hear me God, the devil is wicked listen i assure you that whatever it is What's that? Okay, the request. Don't worry. We'll pray for you. Hallelujah. Just leave her to soak in the glory here while she gets some strength and try to lift her up and see what happens. Father, I pray for everyone here. Let the power of God touch them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone came. Please be patient. You don't have to rush. The Lord himself will touch you. You came for a reason. In the name of Jesus Christ. You don't have to tell me what is wrong with you. If I ask you, you can tell me, but it doesn't matter. The spirit of death is on this woman. But mama, look at me. Come, please. What's wrong with her? I broke my spine.
since where would they for Abuja? Now he, the bubble, where the bomb will blow. So what? I'm I'm selling something for Nyanya. Yeah. I'm selling food with yeah. you. Where bomb will blow for that side? Bomb. And, oh, uh, bomb blast. Yes, and now fall down. I know I cannot get out. They're telling me to go hospital. Oh, the bomb, bomb blast that happened in Nyanya. Yes. So it affected you. Eh. Uh, so I can't get up. They can't even go hospital. So, uh, I spent four months. Go no go. They can't even go flying place. He collected uh, fifty thousand. Go no they go. They carried you go where? Uh, flying man. May go treat me. Say hospital no figure. A doctor. Oh, have a list. Eh. Uh, okay. Man. It's okay. The flying man collected fifty thousand. You know I've said it again. Please hear me. Listen. Let me let me press it down. Any man. I don't care who. Who tells you to bring money to get a miracle? Even if it's me, run away. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Mama, our mothers, I'm begging you in the name of Jesus Christ. Any man, any priest, any prophet, any pastor, any apostle, any human being, herbalist, whoever, that asks you to give him money so that you give him miracle, tell him, Joshua Selman said he's a thief. He's not a man of God. Are we together? And now we start the cure the thief. The... If you give me medicine, I drink, I will bring bad, bad dream in the night. So, stay like that, four months, go and no go. The man now time to bring 30,000 again. I say, I know if you see food. That you talk. bring 30,000 again? Uh, I know if you talk to my children again now. And I'll start the bed, the man, no grief. That man, me, I'm a girl for some yeah. room before. We Mommy, for some what, room. what? Now, I can't some, I can't some room here. Come and say, come and I work out for prayer to prayer. But at the year prayer for you, when they say, I come, I know they, I know they come. I will just lie down, they feel pain every time. Do you know that there are spirits that stop men from going to the place of their breakthrough? Have you seen people that you try to bring for koinonia? On your way going, they just change their mind. It's not them. There is a spirit. I tell you that you make your way here alone is a sign that God is ready to visit you. What, what, what exactly? I must enter today. I must enter as I just uh, come out for road. The so, machine just come. You say, Where the grass and at this church? He says, Oh, make a go, make a go in offer. Welcome, the usher people. Say, Well, they go, they go to my church. I know people work These people can serve God, then they carry me from machine down. They hold my hand. God Carry's bless our me. ushers. I sit down. When I sit down, finish. They come there and ask me, say, make no hurry to enter. So, and now when they start the play, I enter through gate. That I just stand up with my, with my Now this one, they take stand, because all this side, you know. And now suddenly stand up. Uh, stand. God, come give me, I come there. Strength. My power. What, what power. part of your body is not working very well? Yes. Now? What part? Yeah, I even go so. Oh, your, oh, I see. Father. It's, it's okay, madam. Ma Mama, uh, we, we get what is wrong with you now. Eh? In Jesus' name, we'll pray for you. If she couldn't walk, oh, there is a spirit at work in you. That spirit will leave you now. I command that devil, leave her. You think it's bomb blast. But, oh, she could not walk, oh. They had to carry her, and now she's even standing. That's even a miracle. In the name of Jesus. Madam, look at me. Hold my hands. I minister strength to you. Look at me. Come. Come. Help her. In the name of Jesus. Walk. I will hold you. Walk. Okay, look at me. Look at me. Start walking by yourself. Come. Came on a bike. Could not walk. Come. Slowly. Just take it slowly. Look at this. You can see that it's happening gradually. Gradually. These hands were paralyzed. Madam, look at me. Try to lift it up. Go ahead. Go ahead. Lift it. Lift it. Lift it. Look at this. Lift it. Lift it. Drop it down. Lift it again. Lift it again. Completely paralyzed. Completely paralyzed. Look at. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. A miracle is happening. Do what you couldn't do. The devil is a liar. The more you take that step of faith,
the more you see God stepping in father this miracle is perfected in our body in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you just keep exercising her we have to pray please any special case who minister at our time is gone I saw the spirit of death she was supposed to die in that bomb blast I didn't even know it was nyanya bomb blast that Boko Haram bomb blast may you never be a victim of any man's wickedness in the name of Jesus Christ the moment I pray for you please as you return back check yourself and do what you couldn't do before if it's a striking striking testimony we'll just take it here worship team lead us through sessions of worship as we pray in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Jesus short of blood I look at you sir and your face has changed to the face of a cat this is what licks your blood this is what I'm seeing this is demonic you understand what I'm saying there was a time you had a dream and a dog was following you dog dog was pursuing you and I need to pray for you because this is a manifestation of the spirit of death in the name of Jesus Christ I command that spirit that devil of darkness to leave Please stand in and connect for your loved ones. We have so many people. Let's see how far we can. So you brought him for a miracle. You believe Jesus? Eh? His neck is not standing. What does that mean? He can't lift his neck. Put the baby with the baby on my hand. Careful, careful. Just. I know we are taking time, but stretch your hands at this baby and let's close this hole in the name of Jesus. You will have a child. Make sure you are praying. One month, two weeks, a hole in his heart. If God does not step in, this baby will either die or something will happen. I tell you, we are the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. We can agree. Father, we reject this. We reject this. As you are rejecting it for this child, so it will be in your life. Reject it. Lord, your church is praying. We change this report. 
baby will speak to you baby you will not die you will not die you will not die we close this hole hallelujah go and check him don't cry don't cry eh? you are not going to lose your baby in the name of Jesus Christ amen we are going to pray it's going to be very very fast as I lay my hands on you just, it's just a touch there is a reason why I'm doing this myself and I lay hands on you. Just a touch. The Lord is wiping your tears. The Lord is wiping your tears. And not just because you are crying physically. This woman is coming with so much pain. The Lord is wiping your tears. Now, in the name of Jesus, out of her, that demon that causes pain. In the name of Jesus Christ.
submit a prayer request ushers you can begin to bring the prayer request forward please everybody inside and outside make sure you don't miss this next session because that's where you get to receive your personal breakthrough so please forward the prayer request if you still have yours just lift it up and an usher will come to you quickly please guys let's do this very fast so that we can finish as hands are being laid on you i just want you to believe that god is touching you
after me the word of God is not limited to my hearing thank you the word of God is not limited to my hearing alone the word of God can come into my spirit through any mechanism that can create perception and understanding are you getting what I'm saying meaning the word of god can come to you through a christian music now you are listening to a song play something play what you are playing watch this listen if this guy is anointed hallelujah okay that's all right that's all right thank you look at what this guy is playing play it are you hearing any words English is there Hebrew is there your language I want you to follow me carefully are we together now but you see the anointing that is released from this I can put the Word of God on this sound now and you will see miracles happening are you getting it now <laughs> I can put it by saying then this now the sound that leaves this keyboard does not become an ordinary sound it becomes the word of god why a platform that can release the life of god the power of god are you getting what i'm saying now you will hear it and somebody now will come under the anointing and you are wondering the operation of the word of god this is ordinary keyboard that's how you can be listening to worship in your room and faith is rising you are not exactly reading any scripture per se yet faith is rising because through it the word of God is coming (sighs) 
Are you getting what I'm saying? The word of God. The word of God is at work in me. The presence of the Holy Spirit in my life is a sign that I was born of the word. If you are not born of the word, he cannot come. Because he comes in response to the word. So I am born of the word of God. New life is in me. So the Holy Spirit is comfortable to live in me. Are we together? And every time that spirit and life is in me, he can release what is being said. Now I can speak it to happen, but I don't have to speak it alone to happen. I just need to create a platform for it to happen. Look, let me tell you, brothers and sisters, if you believe this, you will know why we pray for the sick. Not necessarily having to say, be healed. You just touch them. And you're saying, sir, you see some, somebody who tried to say, here, yeah, this is where the pain is. And you are touching his head. How does touching the head heal pain at the back? It's the word of God. You are only placing the word of God on them. So you have become an expression of the word. The word became flesh. That's what you have now become. So you are not only reading scripture. You are the word becoming flesh. The word becoming flesh. When you play keyboard, you transfer the word of God to it. This is what is called the ministration of life. The ministration of life. You are transferring life. You are transferring life to that word. Are, are we together now? So, when you put the word of God upon this now, deliverance begins to happen. Healings begin to happen. A sinner can sit down. That's why people come for concerts. And at the end of it, you make an altar call and they come out. You didn't teach John 3.16, but the word of God convicted them because it came from the music. I want you to understand faith. I really want you to understand faith. This may look complicated, but as we continue, you will see how it ties up. It will make your life powerful. I don't move around hoping that demons will respond to my quoting of scripture. I know a lot of scripture to the glory of God, but I am a life-giving spirit. I am a life-giving spirit. My body has become a communicator of the word of God. The spirit and the life of God. So if I shake you, for instance, shake me, Femi. If I shake you, I release the life and the power of God. Are you seeing that? If I shake you, I release the life and the power of God. You may be sick, I may not know. But as soon as I leave you, you find out I've been healed. Now, I did not ask you whether you are sick. The word of God saw a need. And because I have become the word of God, it feels it immediately. Are we together? Say I'm a manifestation of the word of God. Please, I want you to say it. I am a manifestation of the word of God. Say this, my goal for studying scripture, my goal for studying scripture is not just to be learned but to be an expression of the word of god my goal for studying scripture is not just to have head knowledge it's not just to be learned but to be a walking bible so when men look at your life they can read the scripture immediately through your life living epistles we fool ourselves in the body of Christ that because we have finished the Bible cover to cover and by God's grace I've done this many times. So we say I've read the Bible cover to cover. If I'm a man of God as I'm speaking the Bible says blah, blah, blah. And, and once they are talking these spirits are saying my God these guys don't even know what the word of God is. We fool ourselves and at the end of it nothing happens. Are we together? And then somebody comes with a saxophone or a guitar and starts playing. Anywhere you see the manifestation of the power of God, the word of God must have preceded it. Because the Holy Spirit is not authorized to manifest when the word of God has not gone ahead. So when you see the word of God moving, when you see the Holy Spirit moving, he's confirming the word. Confirming the word. Whether spoken or revealed. The manifestation of the word of God. The manifestation of the word of God. I tell you, as I, as I speak this thing, you see, sometimes, because we are talking about the word of God and we are dividing it accurately to open up these things. The spirit of God. Let me tell you something about the Holy Spirit. 
the moment you begin to communicate the word of god very accurately it's like his body is itching him he wants to move he wants to confirm it i'm telling you how to confirm the word it's not holy spirit move move mm -mm, that's not it let the word of god be communicated accurately and it's like it's like he cannot i'm not talking of just shaking under the anointing i'm talking of signs and wonders and miracles you place the word of god upon everything the word of god is on the air the word of god is on your chair everything that can communicate the word of god that's what makes the anointing when the word of god saturates a place the holy spirit follows everywhere the word goes the holy spirit follows everywhere the word goes if the word goes to your kidney he's following it there if the word goes to your academics is following it there if the word goes to your business you don't get the holy spirit to move outside the word of god is witchcraft so send the word of god and the holy spirit follows the word are we together yeah you send the word of god and the spirit moves in that direction so if i declare that i prophesy to your finances if the holy spirit does not back that then it was not the word of god even if i quote scripture are we together so the manifestation of the holy spirit is proof that the word of god has been released in a place the manifestation of the holy spirit is proof that his word has been released we pride ourselves with theological knowledge we pride ourselves with knowledge of scriptures john chapter 3 verse 16 for god so loved the world but it's not the word of god so the holy spirit cannot back it please hear what i'm teaching you the holy spirit only comes to the scene when the word of god is released whether through speaking or through any platform including your body being a manifestation so when you want to see the energy of the spirit released then be sure that what you are speaking or doing is the word of God. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Mm. If it's not the word of God, you are not going to get the Holy Spirit here. Please hear me. The degree to which we have seen the miraculous is the extent to which the word of God has come out. So you can speak 100 words. Only 20 of them are the word of God. The Holy Spirit backs only 20% of your communication. Are you getting what I'm saying? This is the difference between what we call anointed people they may not have all the verses but their bodies have become greater platforms to release the word of god so the holy spirit in answer to the word confirms them are we together i'm a carrier of the word of god not just by cramming scriptures i have read it but the word of God flows through me like water. The spirit and the life of God. I understand the principles. As I walk in the consciousness of that principle and with the understanding. Every time I utter my word or respond in any direction as the Holy Spirit would direct. That's what we call faith. I will tell you what faith is now. Faith is your response to and from the word of God not just scriptures your response to the word of god so you have to make it be sure that what you are responding to is not just scripture but the word of god and it is called faith and that faith will bring performance more on that next week i'm not talking so much about i need you to understand the word of god so that when we begin to teach on the dynamics the operation of faith you will know why certain things are not happening in our lives our idea of faith largely has been correct assimilation of scripture correct recitation of the same and then expectation in hope that something will happen it will never work that way are we together john 3 16 for this and that and that and that happened for we know the grace of our lord that though he was poor yet he became rich so that we through his poverty might be, and we wrap it and we say lord this is your word respond and say no it is true that I spoke that through the servants. 
but you are only speaking scripture theologically listen let me tell you if the word of god was just scripture then the scribes should be have been the greatest careers of the world they knew the entire pentateuch of heart and jesus looked at them and said ye air not knowing the scripture he said you search the scripture for a thing in them you will find life and you will not come to me listen if jesus appears here and somebody is writing a book the bible says scripture testified of him is that true scripture listen if you are writing a book about me and i show up who is a more authentic medium are you getting what i'm saying now so the scribes had head knowledge that prophesied about jesus when jesus came they said no jesus we don't want you but we want the scrolls and he said you are hypocrites you read the scrolls they talk about me now you're reading i am here as the word become flesh you are rejecting me yet you are doing bible study and jesus said you are hypocrites are we together but a woman just ran and said thou i mean blind but if i may but touch the hem of who the word of god she perceived she didn't read anywhere but she saw men looking and she said i have heard and something has happened in my spirit i perceive and i understand that this man has power to heal there is nowhere in scripture where she read that you should take a step of faith she created an action based on her perception god honored that action and she was healed i'll teach you that next week don't take action until you perceive and understand the word you will be wasting your time so we take many steps do you know people can come and stand here with their tight frowning no perception no discernment no understanding all these men of god am ah, i sure a jimmy's tie i'm looking at this tie i hope it's not my money that is going to buy another tie and you are there grumbling and arguing and you drop that and the bible says whatever is not of faith is sin now, men of God will not tell you that because they need the money. So they'll say, no problem. We won't believe or not. That's your business. Just drop it. Let's use it. But I'm telling you the sincere truth. It must be by faith. So here's what the Bible says. Hebrews 11 verse 6. Hebrews 11 verse 6. Give it to us, please. Goodness. Hebrews 11 verse 6. Hebrews 11 verse 6. I want us to read it. Now you will understand all that I've taught you. There is a protocol to faith. Ready? want to read <laughs> but without faith it is impossible to please him full stop whoever wants to be a man of faith what is the first step it says for he that comes to god must believe not his word leave the issue of manifestation you must believe that he exists it your perception must on you must understand the person you are dealing with the integrity of his person and his ability to provide for you number one then number two that he's a rewarder that he's a rewarder there are two things god wants to be known for to release faith one that he exists his existence means a lot because if he exists then he's mighty if he exists then he can hear my god's not dead he's surely alive he's living on the inside roaring like a lion there's a song like that have you read have you listened to that song do you believe god is alive i know you will say yes your life does not show it are we together because if you believe it will compel you to take action look at me listen do you believe there is water on this table do you believe do you believe now you can come and carry it do you believe there is water on this table yes you will not come and carry it because you consider it to be a waste of time so do you believe there is god yes so you can relate to him this is why people do not pray they don't believe god is alive let me tell you the truth the revelation behind a life of prayer it's not religious struggles it's not an attempt to compete with people i pray for eight hours you pray for six hours all that is junk prayer is predicated upon an understanding that unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come 
after the service people are going to be waiting here queuing right to the back because you believe i'm not going what if i just i use style and just run out if i do that for three weeks you will stop standing here because it's a sign that you doubt my ability the first doubt of believers is not even in the power of god to produce that result it's even his existence i know you think this thing i'm telling you is powerful the word of god is guiding us here do you believe god exists it's a very big deal i've given my life to him no problem do you believe he exists he's alive he's alive sing it he's alive He's alive. Amen. He's alive. Jesus is alive. Forever he's alive. Amen. Do you know why every time you visit a herbalist, you must live with a charm? You don't visit whether that charm is a goat or is something you must live with. We call them tokens. Tokens are representations of the existence of something. Are we together? So you go to him. I must marry that man. Put him in a bottle for me. And then they carry his picture. Throw it in a bottle and lock it. Correct? And give you. Say hide it somewhere. For as long. Let me tell you. The devil does not need that bottle. He needs your faith. And since your faith must be tied on something. He gave you a bottle. Let me tell you why it still works. Even if you are born again. You are born again because. Although you are born again. You truly still. You have tasted. Of the power of that charm. Something in you still tells you it's working. So it continues working. The day a higher revelation. And a higher anointing contents. It stops working a man of God one time was hungry and was passing and he saw a chicken that they had slaughtered for sacrifice he carried the chicken and roasted it and ate do you know why he never believed that that thing can do anything to him he said they shall take up poison who the believers believers in God not in miracles you believe in miracles but do you believe in God we are talking about knowing that God exists you know Joshua Selman exists, but do you believe he exists? Let me tell you something. You are a hypocrite if you claim to believe what is written here and don't believe the one who wrote it. Are we together? Oh, I believe all things are mine. Do you believe the God who said it? Lord, I don't believe in you, but I believe in what you said. Does that make sense? You don't believe in me, but you believe in what I said. No. No me and what i have said are one my word is my bond my word represents me when i'm not there you can take my word to represent me if i listen sam if you are dedicating an album and i stand before koinonia listen to me and i say joshua selman on behalf of myself i give you one million naira what is that that's my word now during if you go somewhere and you are doing your calculations you will calculate and say one million naira is coming from apostle have i given you the one million but you know me you believe in me it's up to you now to believe i can deliver it let me tell you what you do you will first size me and look at me can apostle really bring out one million naira are we together so when you ascertain that i'm able to do it number two am i willing when you ascertain that you say i believe it so when god says i will bless you your unbelief sizes him and says no god you are great but these triplets you are talking about don't don't joke with us so the cure is not just action the action part is hard we're coming to that but if you act upon something you don't believe is a waste if you believe in something and don't act it's also a waste are you seeing how we are cleaning it up but we are starting tonight 
with the understanding of God, his word, his integrity. Say, I believe in God. Shout it, I believe in God. I believe he is alive. I believe he exists. That's why I love the Apostles' Creed. The Anglicans recite it all the time. Right? I love it so much because it's an encapsulation. It's called, it's, it's like a statement of faith. Sometimes you need to recite what you really believe. I believe my business can rise. I believe my life can do this. I believe my wife can get pregnant. That's wonderful. But do you believe in God? There is no guarantee in scripture that if you believe those things, they will happen. He that believeth on me. John 12, 14. Please give it to us. We'll find somewhere and pray now. John 12, 14. John 12, 14. The son of the living God himself speaking. John 12, 14. John 14, 12. John 14, 12. John 14, 12. Thank you. Read it please everyone. One, two, read. Stop. It is important who you believe. Not just that you believe. Who you believe. Jesus never said if you believe on things. You believe that things are, will happen. They will happen. He says, verily, verily I say unto you. He that believe on what? On me. I want your faith to be directed to me, not my works. Not my works. I believe all things are possible. But the reason why I believe all things are possible is because of him that can make them possible. The end of your faith should be tied to a person and his integrity, not the things he can do. Restful confidence. He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And what? Greater works than this shall he do because I go unto my father. Do you believe in him? Do you believe he exists? Sister, listen to me. You, it's impossible to believe that fibroid will leave you until you believe in who the healer is. Are you getting what I'm saying? Man of God, I believe my ministry will be great. You are joking. You are just playing games. But I know whom I have believed. And so I am persuaded in his ability that he is able. The first thing is to believe the person. Then I am persuaded. We leave the person and we believe in the ability and the things that will happen. And we never get results. He said, I see this happen all the time. Innocent people not taking out time do you know this is why intimacy is important with god intimacy does not help you believe things intimacy gives you an encounter an encounter furnishes the reality of god in you so that whatever he says is as good as him so you can believe jesus son of god i believe in you I believe in you. We call you a Messiah, Jesus, Son of God. I believe in you. I believe in you. Sing one more time from your heart. Yeah. When I lock up myself, I carry my Bible. I set an atmosphere that brings an intense presence of God. And when I lie down and open my Bible, number one, I am not reading for preaching. MOG, I'm not reading for preaching. I'm not reading for recitation. John chapter 1, verse 5. In this and that and that. And, and we no, 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 no. I'm looking at it. Jesus said, If you believe in me, and I sit down there. Holy Ghost, help me believe this truth. Jesus said, his presence is there. Jesus said, and in my mind, I'm looking at people gathered for miracle service. They don't know me. Maybe they are discussing among themselves, where is the man? 
and the man is there walking on his faith lord i know you are able i don't know what i'm going to see here but i believe in you there is no assurance anywhere physically but i believe in you and when i step and come right here and sit down the moment the worship team finishes do you know what i tell the holy spirit every time i say let's go it's time to go and do this as i climb this stage i'm an ordinary man but not alone he's standing by my side and so I can speak and make every audacious statement. And because of what is coming, listen, let me tell you, I believe in Jesus. I really believe in him. When he tells me something, I don't doubt. You will always doubt God till you encounter him. It's not the issue of I'm trying. Now, let me tell you, watch this. The body of Christ has fabricated a formula that if not careful, it will be our carnal attempt to recite and to 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 um, replace encounters is the concept a false concept of recitation of scriptures listen what we call confession comes from the word homologio meaning speak that which has been said i believe that there is a step to that but let me tell you what many people do we think that we just get up and start speaking I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed in the name of Jesus. I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. I won't hear anything. I'm blessed, I'm blessed. And you said, I said it hundred times. Listen, I'm not, I'm not being sarcastic. I hope you understand. I'm just trying to correct us because we will soon get frustrated with all those things. I'm blessed, I'm blessed in the name of Jesus. I'm talking to my mind. No, listen, your mind was designed to submit. Your mind is not that rebellious. It was designed to submit. You have not created the condition for it to submit. The Bible said, casting down every yetzah, every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ. Your mind can submit. The mistake that we make is that we don't take our time to meditate. Lord, this shall not happen. In the name of Jesus, it can't happen. But it's happening. It can't happen. In the name of Jesus, it can't happen. It can't happen. Me, God forbid, I must carry my child. I'm carrying my miracle baby. Now, that is good. I don't have a problem with that confession. But what is the revelation behind it? What is the revelation that sponsors that thing? What you are speaking is not the word of God. What you are speaking is emotion. What you are speaking is fear. I can guarantee you most of what we do is a reaction to fear. It's just a spiritual reaction to fear or a spiritualized reaction to fear. Because, listen, if you are speaking right now and they tell you your registration date is closing now for whatever, maybe a job, you need 100,000. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I call forth help us. They are coming. Hey, they are coming. Oh, oh God, they are coming. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Let me show you that it's not just faith, it's fear. They were praying for the apostles to be released from prison in the book of Acts. They were praying and asking that God will send angels. God now sent the angels. Peter came out and they opened the door, saw Peter shot him back and kept praying that's what many of us do are we together no i can't find my wallet i'm a tighter what is this i'm a tighter i dropped my tight in koinonia oh god i'm a, I'm a tighter at least it's better than nothing but i'm teaching you restful confidence say restful confidence if you are to be honest you will know his fear I notice the loudest prayer in koinonia is against the spirit of death and the calling of destiny helpers i have noticed it personally that every time i say everybody stand up and you know sometimes you can lead it seriously be serious i mean when we say go is like an arrow all kinds of where are your destiny helpers? Ah, where are they Praise the Lord. Can you get to a point where when you speak, you speak based on conviction? When you say, I shall not die, you are not helping yourself believe. An encounter 
has furnished a reality in your life and it's on the strength of that reality you say I shall not die how many of you prayed to sit down on your chair how many how many of you prayed to sit down okay you need okay Praise the Lord. Are you hearing what I'm saying? How many of you? When you came through perception and understanding, you knew that there are laws that were created by God to keep this chair. Who among you is sitting down now and say, Oh Lord, I really believe you. Ah, no, this chair, you can't disgrace me now. Now, does that mean you are not a believer for keeping quiet? That's how restful your life should be. You can sit down inside fire and you only talk when necessary. Because there is something you know. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Please, I, I want you to believe what I'm teaching you. Otherwise, this series is a waste. I'm taking out time to pound on this because I want you to believe God. You step in and somebody looks at you and says, I'm your grandmother. Go and ask about the people I have killed. I vow that you will not see December this year. It's a vow. I vow that you will not see December this year. You now go back. Lord, is this how I'm going to go? What did I do? Who did I offend? Let me tell you what most believers will say. God forbid. Then later they will sleep and say, Kai, hi. Now let me tell you, that woman herself is even afraid of you. She's but because she gave an attitude and said, I dare you. She left you with an attitude. You too, you claim to have the attitude, but there was no restful confidence. After a while, you say, Apostle, um, I don't know, don't mind. I don't be, it's not me, but I'm just telling you so that you will pray for me. It's still fear. It's still fear. The same way an intelligent student writes an exam. He knows what he wrote. And they'll just look and say, do you know only four people passed? The student may just feel an inkling of fear, but the student knows that even if it's one student that passed, I am the one. Now, he's not boasting out of nothing. He knows what he read. He understood it. He cross-checked the question after the exam and he was absolutely satisfied. It's called restful confidence. The other person who does not really know what he did is now hoping. That's why when he sees, ah, finally. Have you seen the best student? Lord, I'm grateful. I give you all the praise, but I expected it. This is how your life must be. That you know God. Sister, you are 34. You are not going to marry. And all of a sudden you start going and say, Talk. mountain to mountain, valley to valley, everywhere. You start running all around. And you just fidget. There are many of us, the moment somebody speaks to you, someone just holds your hand and says, Faustina, I had a vision. In that vision, I saw cats eating you up. Faustina does not sleep for one week. Are you getting what I'm saying now? I will tell you what the problem is. The problem is not the vision. The problem is not whether it's true or false. The problem is you. If I look at you now and say, Faustina, you're a man. Will you pray about it? I'll tell you why. It's not just because God told you you're a man. There are too many things that have happened in your life to convince you beyond imagination. You don't just believe you're a woman. You don't just trust you're a woman. You know you're a woman. Notice the progression. I'm believing God. I trust God. I know my God. I know Him. I know Him. God, it doesn't look like Him. I know Him. When can you say you know him? That's what Moses knew. He knew his ways. Though he slay me, yet will I praise him because I know him. I know him. I'm trusting God to get to a point in my life where I don't just jack up my faith trying to believe God. Trying to believe God. Trying to believe God. 
trying to believe God trying to believe God oh Lord I believe in you oh Lord I, no, no 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 at that point you will move mountains you will join these elders brothers and sisters mountains will stand before you people will even pity you their eyes because they think you are dead at the end of it they will not see the mountain again and they'll see you shaking yourself that's how great people live in this life this ministry you have seen is here by faith by faith by faith by faith i've come to a point where i'm not trying to believe god i really trust him faith is based on the speaking of god trust is based on your experience with god you have had an experience with god there is a track record of his credibility so you can trust yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death he says i fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me he says thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies we need to begin to walk by faith there are too many things in our lives that attempt to challenge our trust in god but you must get to a point where you say from today i walk by faith and the first encounter is to make the word of god real in your life look at me the greatest investment you can make in your life is not having an education the greatest investment you can make in your life is not just having good friends the greatest investment you can make in your life is to make your life saturated with the word of god where you take the word of god as a project you have given yourself a basis for true faith because there are mountains to cross i like that don Wen song though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before and this is the song we'll be singing forever holy is the lord holy is the lord. let's take that part again though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. Listen, Koinonia, I speak to you. You are not the first to go through challenges. There are men on earth who have crossed this river. They have crossed the river of barrenness. They turn barrenness to triplets. Are we together? There are men who turn being a pauper, not affording... 10 naira to giving billions to nations there are men of god who turn two members to nations you are not the first there are those who overrode the mockery of men it's time for you to leave the level you are in this life of pity oh god won't you show up for me no sir he will show up when you are ready though we are few you're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before and this is the song we'll be singing forever oh holy is the lord holy is the lord listen so God puts his word upon your life. Femi, you will be great. He will never do any other thing until you do something with the word. You can sit there forever and die a failure. It does not mean he lied. The word of God does not act on itself. By the time you look at your life, my father is not doing well. My mother is not doing well. I came from a village. Please listen. I am one of 17 children. I am even the second to the last born. I am 35 years old. I've not done anything meaningful. You look at all of this. And God says, if you believe me, God never gave men instructions until he revealed himself to them. The first assignment was to reveal himself to Abraham, revealed himself to Moses. Then he now sent them. 
they every time they wanted to disobey they remembered him they remembered him the same way somebody want to tell you look there's one there's somebody that i saw in whatsapp i spoke with him and he said he's looking for a wife and the way you have been desperately looking for a husband or a wife i think i can do a range for you and he said no problem god works in many ways i believe but that is not faith it's unbelief are we together listen make up your mind today that you will never take any action in unbelief until you stay and believe god this is why people who rush through things in life suffer they rush to start business they rush to marry they rush to enter a relationship they rush to do this do you know why when challenges push you you will not just look at what you are looking at you have to look at god you have to go back and say lord i know you all you spoke you said koinonia will rise you said you will give us a voice i believe you many graduates are holding their certificates roaming around the streets in nigeria angry the same people can bring notes for you when they were in 200 level they said god told me i will be great fast forward many years they are now holding they were never believing in god they were believing in that certificate they were just hoping that god was the certificate now that they've held the certificate they are moving around and you are asking them where were your visions where were your dreams you said god gave you courage god told you you will never fail brothers and sisters what has god told you leave what he has told you and focus on him the one who spoke i'm reintroducing to you today a god who is dependable i'm reintroducing to you today a god who had parted the sea this bible is a chronicle of his ability a chronicle of his integrity so that you will believe him away with all those talk we have mocked god we have cursed god because of our challenges i know there are challenges i never said there would not be that's why i read you hebrews 11 but i want to see your reaction show me your reaction under fire and i show you whether you know god or not show me your reaction when things are not happening and i can tell you whether you know god though he slay me will i be honest if i say i do not know him i know him i know him he is dependable if i die today without a miracle i still know him that's what made the people in hebrews 11 they knew him so much they rejected deliverance listen listen imagine for instance that god gives you two options in life just imagine and god says you will go through a season with me for six years and you will become so mighty or you will go through a season for one year you will start moving fast but you will not become as mighty as six years let me tell you what many of us will choose a bed in hand is what 20 in the bush oh god thank you for giving me this one year i can i can pay the price but there are those who know god and say lord even if it's 10 years let's go because one step in faith will give you 20 years worth of miracle one step in faith one step in faith have you not seen how god wiped the tears of people and changed the lives of people overnight men who trusted god koinonia i'm introducing to you a god you need to know before you start claiming to believe his word you must have an encounter with this god you must create the atmosphere for his word to be real in your life let it not just be talk 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 cheap talk talk no sir anything god cannot give me no man would claim to say he can give me anything god cannot give me that's why i can look at any man and say thank you for your open door but go with it god did not open that door and i will not go back to sleep and regret i believe god brothers and sisters look at me i have gone through mountains and valleys in my life make no mistakes about it don't you think i'm just talking to you from a standpoint of comfort i have gone through things that very few people can go through and survive i know that god is mighty by and large in life 
everything you trust will fail you and a time will come you will no longer hold on to things but a person pastors have called me man of god i've listened to your messages but nothing is working in my ministry and the first question i ask them is are you sure you are called and they say yes i said if you believe you are called did you hear what god told you they say yes i say stay there stay at the last instruction he gave you and die there there's a song that says i will be a good soldier he says i will die at my post if he does not shift a post let me die there i will survive the mockery i will survive the ridicule i don't have to be under pressure to explain things to people no it's not like this actually it's, it's, it's god that told no. you will never believe him until you encounter him you will never believe him until you encounter him you will never believe him until you encounter him koinonia please hear me faith the foundation of faith is an encounter with god an experience that furnishes the reality of him there are real mountains you will face you will face all kinds of mountains even the most trusted people in your life cannot take his place a time will come you will have to stand alone and say lord jesus i trust you i trust you though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before and this is the song we'll be singing forever holy is the lord holy is the lord though we are few though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. And this is the song we'll be singing we'll be forever. Singing forever. I want you to fall in love with your Bible tonight. Listen, please. Listen. Listen. Please listen to me. I know you have books in your library. Listen to me, please. I know you have books in your library. I know you have DVDs. I know you have CDs. But I bring you to a point tonight where you eat this word till something leaves it and enters your spirit. I have in my phone a compendium of the words of Jesus. Only the words of Jesus spoken. Only everything Jesus ever said in the Bible. Only it. I listen to it every time. I love the words of Jesus. I listen to it. Sometimes I let it run for hours as I sleep. And I have encounters. I wake up under certain intense dimensions. I know something happened. I don't need to know what happened. I know something happened. Are we together? I know that something happened to me. An encounter. I'm a very busy person. Just returned from a trip today. Tomorrow we're off for another one. You know, Eddie was driving me. We're coming from the bank and he asked me a question. He said, Apostle, do you ever rest? I may live a busy life, but not too busy for this. This is the most accurate picture, compendium of the dealings of God with men. I don't read, I read my Bible emotionally. I don't read my Bible intellectually. When I look at it, I see myself. If it be thou, bid me come. I, I, I replace Peter and I stand there. I look at all the challenges that are before me. 
There's a peace in my heart in spite of all the darkness that surrounds me and this peace that I know only comes alive every time I hear your voice there's a light in my soul in spite of all the darkness that surrounds me and this light in my soul only comes alive every time i hear your voice listen brothers and sisters i want you to hear me if you do not come to a point of restful confidence through the word you will shake like a leaf at life at a point in time you will feel like dying that's what makes people commit suicide they get to a point in their lives where they move left there is no way out they move right they are pressed to the core and they think the only way is to drink to smoke or get a gun and blow themselves this word can minister the life of God to you this is ordinary scripture but the moment you begin to read it believing that out of it will come the word of God I assure you you will see miracles in your life and ministry sister I'm prophesying to you it's not over I don't know who said it's over but you take this Bible and recreate your future you have been predicting it by wishful thinking now create it through the power of the word you have been predicting it just by hoping hope is important it make it not a shame but let me tell you the truth if you must walk in any reality in your life you are going to have to create it i believe the word of god i know whom i have believed i have not followed cunningly devised fables i believe him it's time for every word that proceeds from your mouth to be a communication of faith don't speak until you believe we having the same spirit of faith it's called the operation of faith we having the same spirit operation of faith as it is written I have believed and so I spoke I did not speak to believe I spoke because I have believed you don't speak to believe you have an encounter to believe then you speak because you have believed this is bible faith time will fill me of jephthah and barak men who through faith koinonia please listen they built houses by faith some of us have come where god has brought us today it is by grace through faith by grace through faith by grace but through faith it is not just by grace through wishing by grace through crossing your legs and hoping that because it's by grace it will happen you will never see any result there are two prayer points we are going to pray now and we are done for this night next week i don't want you to miss it i'm going to be teaching you the dynamics of faith how faith really works we are going to look at this thing in depth how do I translate desires to manifestations? Rise up on your feet. We will rise in your name. Adonai, you reign on high. We will rise in your name. Adonai. Let your first prayer point tonight be a prayer of thanksgiving. Lord, thank you for showing me what I've been missing. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, thank you for showing me tonight that faith is not just wishful thinking. Faith is not just mental asset. Faith is not just memory of scripture. Although that is important. Faith is not just Bible study for a historical advantage. 
Lord, I thank you. Shabrata rato so brekete. Ela kaparata kato so do brekete balara 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 bal. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. I like you to cry and say, Father, an addiction for scripture planted in me. Listen, listen. There are some of us here as I'm speaking. For one month, for two months, you have not you have not opened this Bible. You have opened it in Koinonia. Listen, but to settle down. Some of us used to be really serious with studying the Bible. You just give God 15 minutes, just rush it. No, 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 listen. The goal is not to read the Bible every day. The goal is to be consistent. Life will not afford you. There are very few people, except those who use devotionals. There are very few people that can really afford to read the Bible every day. Five o'clock to six. It's a worthy habit. But not everybody will have that. Are we together? There are many leaders who don't study the Bible. I'm a leader. I know how hard it is to work with those routines. I'm a leader. I'm a man of God. Many men of God will lie to you. It's not every morning that I get up, I read my Bible. No, that would be a big lie. Many people will lie to you. No, you can't do that. You can't do that. 5.30, we're out of this town to catch up with a flight. There may not be time. I may barely even have the time to sleep. I may just get up and rush and take my bath. But one thing I can tell you, when the Bible says, when you see the Bible put an emphasis, the key is consistency. The key is not religion. You can develop a habit that will make you consistent, like a devotional, like creating a time, morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, or any of them. But brothers and sisters, if you want to grow in faith, you are going to have to embrace your Bible and give God time. So I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, grace to give you time in my life. Lift your voice. Grace to give you time. Grace to give you time. Grace to give you time. Not to rush around my life. That I will seek you with all my heart. I will search for you and I will find you. I will find you with all my heart. I will leave my hands to you and worship. I will worship with all my heart. I will search for you and I will find you. Find you with all my heart. I will leave my voice to you in worship. I will worship. my busy life do something upon my life let me be a student of the bible let me give time knowing that my faith all i need is you lord is you lord all i need is you not a godfather not a godmother all i need is you lord the fountain of favor the fountain of wisdom all i need is you lord is you
faithful in all your ways my help and my reward you are glorious my God beautiful you are wonderful talk about this but we are going to pray it all the same listen to me we are praying we are rounding up you cannot obey God until you know his will are you hearing me I will shift that to next week discerning the will of God but for now let me just tell you something there are two dimensions to the will of God there is his written will and there is his revealed will his written will is that which he has allowed to be written in scripture a communication of his desire it is it is not matured in the spirit to ask whether god wants you rich or god wants you alive there are scriptures that already show you it is his will Jeremiah 29 11 for I know the thoughts I think towards you said the Lord thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you a future so asking oh God do you want a good life for me it's not a wise prayer but there are certain dimensions of his will that must be revealed next week I'm going to teach you how to access the revealed will of God it is not written here that Femi should be based in Zaria it is not written that Sam should be in London are we together it is not written here that a Jimmy should marry hope it is not written here that Eddie should be a protocol in Koinonia but you will need let me tell you something one of the areas where people have marked time in their life they want to obey but the will the will the will I have studied this and I'm still studying it the ability to access the revealed will of God because if you act in disobedience it is still unbelief you have acted your action must be based on a knowledge of the will of God we're going to take off from there so I like you to pray one prayer with all your heart and say Lord everywhere I'm still in confusion as to your will for my life accurate clarity reveal to me lift your voice and pray Koinonia pray every gray area threatening my confidence every gray area threatening my confidence every gray area reveal your will reveal your will reveal your will reveal your will make it clear make it clear make it clear so that I will run without confusion hallelujah listen listen every time you turn in the day of battle it is because you are in doubt of God's presence and God's will 
are we together the moment you are certain if someone comes to there and say joshua selman koinonia is not the will of god i'm not even going to pray about it my god there is a depth of certainty do you have that kind of certainty for your life if no stop running are you hearing what i'm saying there are some of you by this message tonight you should mark time a while this rush is too fast there are some of us by this teaching just peg yourself and say the month of october is the month of discernment the month of clarification and the month of certainty tell yourself i'm not crossing october with these myriads of doubts in my life i am tired of believing god today it's like this is my husband but next week i'm in doubt again it's like this is my wife but next week i'm in doubt it's like god wants me to do this business but i'm in doubt it's like i i it's like i had it's like i had i had katsina i was even excited but now i've come back katsina we're back to send her it's like uh -uh, uh -uh. your faith will not be grounded that way open my ears to hear you and lord any confirmation it takes to make me know it is you give it to me lift your voice and pray these are simple but powerful prayer points any confirmation about your will Absolute clarity. Absolute clarity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. I remember years ago, there are many people I see today who I remember when you would ask them when they were students, what will you do, be doing with your life? They say serving God to the ends of the earth. They thought they were clear right now ask them what are you doing with your life it's your boy Kai. he said i thought i had he said yeah, man, I leave all that one we were children that's why now that we're adults let's face the reality let me tell you when a man's life is like that please hear me between now and next friday you should be able, am i going to be a man of god am i going to be a businessman am i a civil servant are we together this issue of allowing life to choose for you will shred your life into pieces are we together the last prayer point lord what do you want for my life what do you i'm tired of making stupid choices outside your will what do you want i'm not so rebellious what do you want for my life lift your voice and pray don't say i'm a businessman what does he want for your life don't say i must stay in lagos i've already promised myself i must be based in london i must be based in france what is his will for your life I will never be a pastor's wife god forbid no no don't pray like that lord what is your will i will go i will go anywhere you lead me i will go listen inside and outside there are men you cannot have faith in a God you do not have a relationship with 
you can receive from a herbalist you don't have a relationship with you can relate with the devil and not even need to know him but when you come to god you must have a relationship with him there are people here under the sound of my voice and thousands following online who are saying man of god i need jesus in my life this may be the first decision you are making you've been going to church you've been hearing preachers you may even be a worker in the house of god but you are saying as you are speaking now i really am discovering that jesus is a stranger to me i do not know him i cannot boast of saying i have a relationship with him or there are people here saying man of god truly i gave my life to christ but the truth is i've lost touch with anything god for a very long time and tonight i hear your voice man of god invite me i'm going to make an altar call our time is gone just two minutes for this these two categories of people some of you may be seated outside as you are looking at the screen the holy spirit is telling you it's time for me to use you i can lift you it's time for us to rise where you are is not your best don't stay where your father stayed don't stay where your mother stayed but the first step is to make this declaration please wherever you are don't wait until someone starts moving i want you to make your way and rush out here right now and say man of god i'm not ashamed of jesus i'm not embarrassed i am coming before him god bless you god is touching people already God is touching people already. God bless you. No matter where you are, keep coming. This is not all. Young, old, there are people outside. What are you waiting for? Win that war tonight. Respond to him and say, Lord, I come to you. I need you. I need you. the holy spirit is still telling me there are a few people at least four people i know our time is gone but the holy spirit is telling me there are still at least four people outside inside there are still people if the holy ghost is speaking to you and saying you are the one the man of god is talking to don't be afraid make your way to the front you know you need jesus you know you need jesus Please do not be ashamed. Don't be embarrassed by who is standing or who brought you. Make that quality decision. I'm about to begin to pray with them right now. Make sure you join us. Don't come afterwards. Stand before him and say, Lord, I'm not, I'm not ashamed. I am not ashamed to declare that you are my Lord. You are my Savior. Hallelujah. Lift your right hand, brothers and sisters. You have come sincerely to God some of you for the first time some of you are saying i'm tired of living my life i act as if things are all right but i know things are not all right don't be ashamed before him it's like an award is being given to you you have heard the word of the lord it's time to win that war you are not growing younger don't let your children look at you one day and say daddy mommy why are we like this you had an opportunity to serve god what is the difference between you and uncle so 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 they are serving god he said teach us to number our days you don't waste your time you are growing older every day you must invest your time serving the purposes of the kingdom say after me lord jesus you are not reciting a poem say it clearly lord jesus i love you i truly believe in you this night i came here to hand over my life completely to you i declare that from today take over my life be my savior be my lord i receive your life i receive your word into my spirit and i declare from today i am a new creation all things are past and the new has come the grace to walk in righteousness to walk in liberty i receive in the name of jesus from today my life becomes victorious in jesus name i stretch my hands to you and i pray i break the power of sin i declare that your sins are forgiven in the name of jesus and by the power that is vested in the name of the christ i release you
from every guilt every shame every condemnation i pray from today that you will begin to rise higher and higher in the name of jesus the power of the flesh the power of sin is broken over your life the grace of god is at work in you in the name of jesus christ amen and big congratulations for this decision now i'd like you to follow um, there's someone waving there's a gentleman waving his hands please follow him they're going to give you more information and i want to hold on please i want to encourage all of you sorry just a minute the bible says they that be planted in the house of god not they that visit the house of god it's important that you are planted in the house of god and i would recommend for you at least for the next one month please be part of the prayer department tuesdays four o'clock at rema so that you can build your faith and build your spirit god bless you and i love you thank you let's appreciate them dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua Salmon. and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of jesus christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again Bye.